In aquatic ecosystems, nutrients play a critical role by sustaining all living plants and animals. However, without a responsible management plan, excess nutrients can fuel invasive aquatic plant growth. Harmful algal blooms, or HABs, can also develop, threatening the health of a lake or pond and even the community that surrounds it. To achieve the long-term goals for your water body while avoiding these problematic situations, it's important to understand the benefits and complexities of nutrient management. Nutrients come in many forms, but the two most common nutrients found in water are phosphorus and nitrogen. These nutrients are found naturally in sediment and are released by decomposing plant matter throughout the year. Excess nutrients often enter a water body through stormwater runoff. As water travels across roadways, sidewalks, and other impervious surfaces during rainstorms, it picks up grass clippings, pet waste, and residue from fertilizers. These are transported, as designed, to our lakes, rivers, and stormwater ponds, where they inadvertently become available to the entire food chain. As a result, thick mats of green algae can develop on the surface of a water body, preventing the exchange of oxygen. In turn, this can cause massive fish kills while destroying desirable plants and beneficial zooplankton. Even worse, recent research suggests HABs can release dangerous toxins that may lead to neurodegenerative diseases such as ALS, Alzheimer's, or Parkinson's disease. If the negative nutrient loading cycle continues, the water body can accumulate bottom muck and sediment, therefore losing significant depths and volume over time. So thankfully, proactive management tools like biological augmentation, buffer management, and regular water quality testing can help prevent the growth of HABs. Beneficial vegetative buffers are comprised of native grasses and flowering species that extend three to five feet from the water's edge. They filter excess nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen and inflowing water runoff. These buffers also help to maintain shoreline stability and prevent erosion, all the while providing sufficient habitats for native birds to help deter mosquitoes. Additionally, floating fountains and submerged diffused aeration systems can be installed to improve water quality. Nanobubble aeration is setting new standards for safe and natural nutrient limitation and cyanotoxin control. Nanobubbles can help stabilize dissolved oxygen levels for two to three months at a time, often transforming the health and appearance of a water body in a matter of hours. But if you do find yourself dealing with nutrient overload, there are several ways to safely remove nutrients from your lake or stormwater pond. Products like Phoslock and Alum can be applied to your water body to remove excess nutrients from the water column before they have a chance to fuel undesirable plant growth. Another product called Biochar works similarly. Biochar, an absorbent material similar to activated charcoal, allows water to flow through a sock-like bag while pulling nutrients from a lake or pond. Once the bag is full, it's pulled from the water body, physically removing the pollutants. Lastly, if your water body has suffered from years of chronic nutrient loading, sediment removal via hydro-raking or dredging may be a more effective and long-lasting solution. It's not always clear when sudden spikes in nutrients may occur. But to ensure your water body continues meeting your goals, it's important to meet with an expert to develop a custom management plan today.